Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to all the viewers. In the previous video, we briefly discussed regarding Fakr, that what is Fakr. Today, we will discuss briefly the stages of Fakr and the types of Fakr. First of all, let's start with the stages of Fakr. There are three stages of fakr. The first one, the first one is to inhalate in la ilaha. That is to say no to every relationship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second stage is to find permanence with illallah. That is becoming immortal with Allah. The third stage is to reach the extremity of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam that is to find permanent presence in the assembly of the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him which is the stage of perfect guidance so dear viewers one must go through these three stages of fakr if one desires to attain the vision and closeness of Allah now let's talk about the types of fakr. There are two types, fakr is tarari or the constrained fakr or fakr ikhtiari or also known as the chosen fakr. Let's talk about fakr is tarari first or the constrained fakr. Sometimes a few people acquire the path of fakr in order to deceive others. Or they are compelled to opt the path of fakr because they cannot take the daily pressures of life. They face failures and they cannot achieve their goals. Hence, in order to hide their disappointment, they just pretend to be on the pathway of fakr. They do not have any desire for the vision of Allah and the closeness of Allah, nor do they deserve it because it requires purity of intention. In addition to that, there are others who pretend to be on the pathway of fuckers just because their elders were on the pathway of fucker. They do not have any idea what fucker is. They just want to grab the income that is generated from the shrine of those saints. Such fake fucker is known as fakr e istarari or the constrained fakr. Now let's talk about the true fakr, fakr e ikhtiari or the chosen fakr. The true lovers of Allah sacrifice all the pleasures of their lives and they put their whole lives at stake for the vision and closeness of Allah. They may be rich lords, kings, rulers, or they may be just common men who have only the desire to attain the vision and closeness of Allah. And regarding this true fakr, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him declared this fakr as his pride. Because this and this fakr is called fakr ikhtiari or the chosen fakr. Dear viewers, there's a lot of difference between fakr istarari and fakr ikhtiari. The fakr istirari or the constrained fakr makes the soul dead. And the true fakr, the real fakr, fakr ikhtiari, the chosen fakr, enlivens and purifies the soul. So the crux of our discussion is that fakr is Islam's foundation which leads to Allah's marifat, that is gnosis, through the vision of Allah and by the spiritual presence in the assembly of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, ayat number 208, O seekers, enter Islam perfectly and completely. So dear viewers, in order to achieve internal and external peace, as well as well-being in this world and the hereafter, we must enter Islam completely and perfectly by acquiring the pathway of fakr, the sirat-e-mustaqeem. 
I pray to Allah Almighty that He may guide us all towards the true path of Fakr so that we can attain the vision and closeness of Allah. Fama alayna illal balagal mubin.